NASCAR's annual throwback weekend is this weekend at Darlington Raceway, and it's bigger and better than ever before. The Camping World Trucks, the Xfinity Series, and the NASCAR Cup Series will all race this weekend, so we've got a ton, a ton of beautiful throwback schemes to talk about. How's it going y'all? My name is Eric and welcome to a special episode of Out of the Groove. It's that time of year again. We're going to look at and talk about every single NASCAR throwback paint scheme, Trucks Xfinity Cup that have been released so far. A good number of these I've seen already, but I haven't had the chance to really study any of them. You know, many have been released just in the last like 24 hours. Throwback, throwback, throwback. Everyone it feels like this year is getting in on the festivities, which is really, really great to see. It's also great to see the Truck Series joining the Cup and Xfinity cars this weekend. So we've got a lot of exciting schemes to look at. But before we look at every single one of these paint schemes, this episode is sponsored by my good friends at Swan Security. I've told you guys before about the Swan Enforcer Security System with its multiple 4K cameras, with motion detecting, police flashing lights, and all sorts of other great things you need to keep your home, garage, or your office safe. Now I'd like to introduce to you the Swan Extreme Security Camera. This is a great portable, convenient security camera that can be charged once and put wherever you need. And the battery will last for up to six months. It even comes with a micro SD card where everything can be recorded to. It'll also be recorded to the cloud. You can easily view the clips on the Swan Security app. The Extreme camera is easy to set up, easy to pair with the app, and it's available exclusively at Menards. Be sure to check out the Swan Extreme Security camera, again, available exclusively at Menards. Big thank you again to Swan for supporting Out of the Groove and also supporting several race teams. We've seen them on Jordan Anderson's truck, Ryan Vargas' Xfinity car, so really great to see a new sponsor diving head first into NASCAR. Now, speaking of some paint schemes and sponsors, let's look at every single throwback scheme that has been revealed so far. We're gonna blow through these things. I'll tell you guys what I think. We'll talk about what I like, what I dislike. If you've seen my throwback paint scheme reaction videos I've done the last few years, you probably already know the kind of things I like to look for, but feel free to follow along at home. Hopefully some of these you haven't seen either and they'll be just as surprising to you as they probably will be for me. All right, beginning with the truck series, going in no particular order, let's start with the fantasy scheme first. Check out Tyler Ankrum's Ricky Bobby Talladega Nights Wonderbread throwback on his truck. This looks super great. We're off to a fantastic start. I mean, hey, they got the colors exactly right. They even changed the number font a little bit to more closely match the, the font from the movies, which is something I always appreciate when they change those fonts. I like this one a lot. We've seen some Talladega Night style throwbacks in the past, not always even at Darlington, but this is one of the best ones I've seen so far. So kudos to GMS Racing for this one. Keeping with GMS. Chase Purdy is rocking a Davey Allison. Ooh, the Davey Allison throwback. Still got Bama buggies on the truck. This looks really solid. I love, again, the number font has changed. It matches the original paint scheme pretty well. This looks great. The gold, kind of brownish gold with the red. This looks super duper good. Very true to the original, so I appreciate that. Moving on. Just getting all the GMS trucks out of the way. Here we go. Ooh, a Wood Brothers, a Glenn Wood inspired throwback right here. I gotta say it's a little weird, a little bit weird to see that 21 plus this kind of, you know, scheme style on a Chevy. <laughs> this look is immediately recognizable. I mean, hey, if you're not gonna have any sponsors on the truck, you, you gotta do something fun with it. This looks pretty solid. Oh, Derek Krause rocking the Michael Waltrip back to his DEI days. This is cool because they got the, the yellow kind of E, you know, the spikes there on the side looks fantastic. You got the sponsor Napa, who of course is Michael Waltrip's sponsor. This is a this one's actually really good. I like this. You don't see too many, you know, DEI era schemes for, for certain reasons, but this one kind of flying under the radar. I like it. Very good. Another Michael Waltrip throwback, one that's maybe less known, less thought about, less recognizable, but uh, pretty cool. It will be hard to miss the bright yellow and green. They got the number font, right? They even got the font of the North American Motor Car, their logo, to kind of match the font of, what was this, like the country something? Country time. That's right. I always love it when the number match is the car that they're throwing back to as well. So this one's not bad. This one's Ryan Truex. This, I believe, is just a throwback to Marquee Hot Tubs, their original logo. So I don't know if the paint scheme has any significance, but 
I mean, okay, the sponsor pays the bills. Gotta do what they want, I suppose. Ooh, hello, Ron Hornaday Jr. throwback. You know, I prefer when these truck series teams throw back to actual trucks. Like, sure, the, the Wonder Bread throwback is cool, and even the last one, the Michael Walter throwback, is cool, but I like it when they throw back to staples of the truck series. Ron Hornaday Jr., one of the all-time great truck series racers. This looks great. I love it. The good right on the car instead of good wrench. I guess for the sponsor is what, rightcars.com? I guess that's probably related to Chris Wright, probably, but still, that's kind of cool that they added good before for their name. Hey, buying in. Hey, the sponsor earned my respect for that, adding the good before the name. That's pretty cool. Ooh, a Bobby Hamilton style scheme driven by Timothy Peters this weekend. I love the blue and yellow. Looks really great. Bobby Hamilton, of course, another well-known successful truck series veteran. This one looks really, really cool. A lot of respect. I think there's at least one other Bobby Hamilton one on here somewhere. Eric Darnell is back. Take a look at this. This was announced just this morning, but Eric Darnell, who last raced in NASCAR in 2012, He's coming back to drive for Nice Motorsports this weekend, and he's driving basically the exact same scheme that I guess he won a couple races with with Roush Fenway or Roush way back in the day. Yeah, got Northern Tool and equipment on it as well. The colors is literally the same scheme, the same truck. The number is the only thing that's different, but they even changed the font a little bit. Wow. Eric Darnell just swooping in out of nowhere and might be winning the throwback weekend so far. This was a surprise for sure. Oh, and this one was announced today, I believe, as well. But Carson Hosevar with the Johnny Benson inspired throwback. Hey, that's pretty cool. Got the Vaveline sort of colors there. Immediately recognizable. They even, wait, they even adjusted on the font. I mean, it's not the 10, but they still got the little like indentions, the little spikes in the numbers, kind of, the waves. Dang, teams are going all out this year with changing the, the number fonts. They must watch my videos because every year that's what I beg for. I'm like, please, just change the number fonts. It's so easy to do and it adds so much. Case in point, this looks fantastic. Man, a lot of winners so far in the truck series. Bring the trucks to Darlington more often. GMS Racing, look at this. Ooh, a Jason Leffler inspired throwback. Again, they changed the number font. This one's so cool as well. Even the logo almost looks identical. I, I love it when sponsors are willing to adjust their logo to better match the throwback paint scheme. This is fantastic. Great to see a Jason Leffler race truck on the track this weekend. Really love it. Jordan Anderson, that's right. I believe he was at the governor of South Carolina's like mansion to reveal this paint scheme. So, oh, Jordan, high roller, goodness gracious. A pretty simple design, but a cool meaning behind this scheme. This was the first paint scheme that Larry McReynolds crew chief for, I believe Mark Martin was his driver. And fun fact, before the season began, Jordan Anderson actually got engaged to Larry McReynolds' daughter. So uh, <laughs> schmoozing the father-in-law, the future father-in-law a little bit here, but it looks really good. I love it. I love me some Larry Mack, so good on you, Jordan. This looks pretty great. Ooh, a Tim Richmond, sort of Folgers style throwback being run by Stuart Friesen this weekend. This was the best image I could find. I'm sorry, guys. It was like he posted like a video and they never really showed any great views of the trucks, but you can see they've changed the font to kind of match the 25. It's funny because this is the 52 just flip the digits but the gold looks authentic the red looks great they've got moonshine on the on the hood on the quarter panel as well that's fun that's kind of with the theme sort of tim richmond of course one of the first you know sort of superstars of nascar if you will this is going to look pretty great on track i like it man these trucks are going all out oh my goodness another one austin hill throwing it back to mike stefanik one of the newest hall of fame nascar hall of fame inductees known for his prowess on the modified circuit absolutely deserving of a of an epic throwback scheme like this i mean hey modified doesn't look you can see it right there it doesn't look any thing really like a NASCAR truck, but the paint scheme is clearly recognizable. And the font, while the font hasn't really been changed, you can see the sort of silver gradient matches the 16 on, on a Stefanik's car there. So this looks pretty great as well. Great meaning behind it. Very, very special, of course, honoring Stefanik, who will go into the Hall of Fame this year, I believe. Ooh, Timmy Hill with the Kenny Irwin throwback. Looks fantastic. Another great example of, you know, kind of an iconic truck series paint scheme looking better on a NASCAR truck today. This looks really good. Again, they adjusted on the font a little bit. I, I just love that. I can't help but point that out every time it happens because I just respect it. I don't know why. It, it took them a, a really long time for all the teams to, see, to buy into this idea, and now they've gone all in. And again, the colors are exactly right. Really, there haven't really been any misses for the truck series so far. They've all been really impressive. Spencer Boyd here throwing it back to Jack Sprague, a truck series champion. This looks pretty cool. Again, they changed the font. They got the colors exactly right. Credit to Credit MRI, who uh, also was a sponsor of this show a couple weeks back for playing along with the color scheme and everything. This looks really, really good. Again, exactly as it should look. It, it, uh, these guys are doing an amazing job. Wow. I really don't have anything bad to say about any of these trucks. Here we go. This is a weird kind of image that they posted. Uh, trying to piece it together, but Todd Gillen looking like an all 
all-black Black's Tire Service throwback scheme to NASCAR. Oh gosh, throwing it back to 1998, NASCAR Atlantic Seaboard Regional Champion Charles Powell III. He apparently won that championship with Black's Tire Service as his primary sponsor, so that's pretty cool. The sponsor has a good tie in there. Simple looking truck, but the accuracy is pinpoint. And I believe this is the last truck series car that's been revealed so far. Haley Deegan throwing it back to Ford's first endurance win all the way back in 1966. I love the number inside the circle. I kind of like that, honestly. Like Chase Briscoe's car, Xfinity car last year. I think maybe some of his cup races this year, they've sort of done that throwback style. I kind of like it. It's really old school, but not. anyway, aside from that, this looks pretty cool. Very simple, but very sharp. Uh, and great for Ford to kind of tie back to, you know, their long motorsports history. I, I like it. All right, let's move on to the Xfinity Series. Let's start with the colleague cars. Look at Jeb Burton throwing it back to his father, Ward Burton. Number's not exactly right. They did change the font, but the paint scheme is similar. It's, it's fine. I understand why they picked this one, because obviously it's, you know, Jeb's father. I guess that makes a lot of sense, but also the green from the original paint scheme kind of matches the Nutrien uh, Ag Solutions sponsor they have now. So this, it works on multiple levels. Pretty solid, not a terrible start. Let's move on. All right, this one just looks like the normal leaf. Oh, okay, it's a throwback to, it's a throwback to Leaf Filter's first ever race in NASCAR as a primary sponsor. Again, the sponsors pay the bills. <laughs> you gotta do what they want. This one's not that exciting, I'll be honest. I mean, it matches, but I don't I don't pay that close attention to the leaf filter schemes. This looks pretty close to what the current leaf filter cars look like. So I, this, this one's kind of weak. I'm not gonna lie, this one's kind of weak. Keep going. Oh, hello. Oh, that's cool. All right, oh, I didn't see this one. AJ Allmendinger throwing it back to his own race winning, Cup Series race winning paint scheme from 2014 when he won a Watkins Glen. That's cool. Oh my gosh, they even got the sponsor to, to uh, adjust the logo. Look at this. The Scots logo on the hood is now Hyper, hyper Ice. And the, the Kingsford is, what is that on the back? L's, L's something worth? It says Colleg where it would say Bush Beer or Bush Beans. That's, I like that. This is really well done. You know, I'm not always a fan of throwing it back to yourself, but in this case, that win in 2014 was a huge moment for AJ Allmendinger and his racing career. And if you're going to do the throwback scheme this well, Go for it. Wow, this looks great. All right, ending on a high note, colleague. Well done. Hot Wheels, well, not Hot Wheels, but still a Hot Wheels inspired scheme. There we go. The 26 team, they're throwing it back to Kyle Petty's classic Hot Wheels car. I always love the loop de loop there on the door. It looks so good. Uh, this looks fantastic. I, wanna, I wish there was a better image of it. I could see the hood and everything a little bit more, but I mean, this little profile shot enough is enough to sell me on it already. So this looks great. Oh, oh, we have a Matt Kenseth throwback. Whoa, whoa, hold the, hold the phone. Matt Kenseth is getting a throw. I think this is the first Matt Kenseth throwback ever, aside from when Kenseth himself has thrown it back to some of his old paint schemes. But this, I, I, I mean, I love Matt Kenseth, so it's cool that the 17 has a sort of Matt Kenseth style scheme on it, but why this scheme? You know, like, like why, why this Vaveline scheme that ran like three times in 2012 and had a helmet chucked at it at Bristol? Like, that's the only thing people are going to recognize this scheme from is when Tony Stewart threw the helmet when they were, uh, you know, wrecked battling for the lead at Bristol that year. I mean, I love it. I love that Matt Kenseth is getting some, getting some credit, and especially I love the 17. Of course, this is the one sponsor, the one team where they didn't change the font to match Matt Kenseth's, but I'll, I'll let it slide. I love Matt Kenseth. I just think this is a weird choice of scheme to go with. Tommy Joe Martin's throwing it back to Rich Bickle, another Wisconsin driver, his 1999. Oh yeah, this looks great. Look how accurate it is. This looks really good. These renderings look really good as well. Impressive, a uh, kind of obscure one. Rich Bickle, you don't see him getting a whole lot of Xfinity series love, I feel like, but here you go. Tommy Joe Martin's has it covered. This looks fantastic. Colby Howard is throwing it back to his father, Rodney Howard. Look at this, I love it. You can see the kind of side by side here. They've, they've put them both next to each other. I mean, that looks really, really cool. I don't really have anything else to say. They got the colors right, they got the font right. I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm sure very special to Colby, very special to that family as well. Oh, and JD Motorsports keeps slapping Ryan Vargas with the Mark Martin Vaveline style colors. You know, Mark Martin had a few different designs through the years. This was always one of my personal favorites. This is very, very impressive. It's accurate, it looks gorgeous. Uh, this scheme, I feel like these Vaveline schemes, those Mark Martin schemes from back in the day, honestly, for the most part, would hold up today. I, I think. They look really, really good. This one is no exception. Well done. Man, even the Xfinity series is not missing. Oh, oh, whoa. I forgot about this one. Jeez, Louise. Hey, it's the right spot. They got the Gatorade logo. What? Oh, no, this is too much. 
All right, we have an early front runner, boys and girls. This is great. Daryl Waltrip, the classic Gatorade colors. I've seen this car, the Daryl Waltrip car, in person at the Hall of Fame. I'm not sure if it's still there, but this is one of the more iconic early NASCAR paint schemes. The fact that they got Gatorade to come back and even sponsor, I assume Gatorade hopefully is paying. They at least had to give their blessing for the logo. I hope they're paying them some money because this, this deserves all the exposure. This looks so, so good. Yeah, wow, I did not see this one coming. This is an early front runner for sure. Well done. I, that one almost knocked me out of my seat. Jeffrey Earnhardt throwing it back to Dale Earnhardt. His 1998 Olympic scheme, classic. The American flag it was just, basically the car is just American flag. Uh, they captured that patriotism in this one, I think, as well. So um, looks looks pretty good. Great memories. Josh Berry is paying tribute to Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2001 Pepsi 400 win. This one's pretty cool. You look and you can kind of see, you got the little illustration there of Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Michael Waltrip, you know, how they celebrate afterwards. And this car even kind of looks somewhat like Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s car from that race. So not bad at all. It's a nice tribute for sure. 20 years later, still celebrating. I like that tagline as well. Oh, look at this rendering. This is like a cartoon. I like it. I mean, it matches. I guess that's what they're going for because this is a throwback to Dale Earnhardt's Tasmanian Devil paint scheme. Look at the, the man coming out of the ice cream cone. It's even, oh my gosh, the illustration even sort of matches the Tasmanian Devil. You know how he looked. Anyway, wow, that's, that's an impressive detail for sure. This <laughs> looks good. Oh, and they changed the font. They changed the font on the side, the seven. That looks kind of like a Dale Earnhardt three. It does just a little bit. Wow, this looks really good. Credit to uh, Good Humor Ice Cream Products for playing along. And uh, again, good, good wrench on the quarter panel. Oh my gosh, this is so clever. Round of applause, round of applause. Junior Motorsports, these are some bangers. I, I don't know that Noah Gregson has announced a throwback scheme or if they're even doing one, but these other three that we've seen here, fantastic, goodness gracious. Daniel Hemrick throwing it back to NASCAR Hall of Famer, Red Farmer, awesome. Looks looks really good, I guess. I mean, it's, it's kind of, a, a, the colors are kind of, uh, uh, but it looks old school. When I think, when I see this, I think, oh, old school. I think Red Farmer, who's, uh, is he still racing? I'm not sure if he's still racing now, but he's in his 80s and was still racing pretty consistently. So this man deserves all the respect in the world. I like it. Ooh, Jay Buford and the 48 team throwing it back to Dan Gurney's 1970 Trans Am car. Look, they got Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels on the back. That's a Hot Wheels logo. <laughs> How did they get Hot Wheels on the car? Now, why is this one not throwing it back to the Kyle Petty, you know, loop-de-loop -loop throwback scene? They, they actually, that's, that's the real Hot Wheels logo, right? Like, what? I mean, this one still looks great, actually. This actually does look super-duper fantastic. I mean, the, the design on the, on the nose, I love it. This looks great. And you can see the, the actual car for comparison. This thing is extremely accurate, down to the door number, the font. They even got his name there above the number on the door, like right below the window net there. That's a pretty cool tribute, absolutely. That's fantastic. This one looks really good. The Hot Wheels logo on the quarter panel is just throwing me off, kind of confusing me, but the overall scheme looks great. Nicely done. I know we're only like midway through this, but at least so far, I gotta say, this might be the best year of throwback schemes so far. I think adding the trucks to the weekend and letting their creativity shine as well has really, really done wonders for this event. We haven't seen really any duds, any just L's so far. We've seen some maybe lackluster than others, but I'm mostly seeing bangers right now. Let's keep going. Oh, Kyle Weatherman with the Richard Petty throwback. Got the Petty blue and that reddish orange color. Classic STP colors and uh, they changed the font. They got the four exactly right. The seven's kind of coming out of nowhere, but you gotta do what you gotta do. This, again, like the fact that these smaller teams as well are getting in on the action and doing such a great job just warms my heart. Bailey Curry, they're throwing it back to Bobby Allison, a classic, that silver, the chrome numbers on Bobby Allison. It's gonna be hard to fully capture that, I think, you know, this year in, in, in person, especially with these wraps the way they are, but uh, still Bobby Allison, great tribute as always. This looks pretty solid, the silver and black. Ryan Ellis, uh, there's a story behind this one I had to look up, or he tweeted a kind of a thread about it when they revealed the scheme. This is a paint scheme that's honoring his grandfather who actually passed away while racing you know, decades ago, uh, Vic Ellis. And Ryan Ellis uh, credits Vic Ellis, although he never got the chance to meet his grandfather, of course. You know, he credits him as kind of being the one who influenced him to continue his family family legacy of racing, you know, his father as well, um, all of the entire Ellis family, very inspired by 
Vic Ellis. So pretty cool that they're able to kind of throw back to at least those colors from you know years and years ago. Another family connection here from Myatt Snyder. He's throwing it back to his grandfather, Jimmy Llewellyn's scheme from the NASCAR Grand National Series. You can see the little comparison photo there, black and white, of course. We'll get to see full color here on the Tax Slayer mobile. Uh, this looks really, really cool. Again, again, they changed the number font. I keep saying that, I'm gonna stop saying it, but I'm just impressed every time they do it because everyone's doing it, wow. Oh my, the UPS colors are back on Jeremy Clements, goodness gracious, classic Dale Jarrett scheme. UPS, to shame they're not still in NASCAR, but this is a very worthy throwback paint scheme. The brown, the orangish color, it's, it's all there. It all works, well done. Oh my gosh, and they're not alone. What can brown, what can Brandon Brown do for you? Another, this one's slightly different, but again, the, the eight in the 68, that's, that's that Yates 8, that's the Dale Jarrett 8. Oh, that's that's giving me some memories, man. Playing the old NASCAR video games, the UPS car always up near the front. Dale Jarrett, man, he was always my rival in NASCAR Thunder. I don't know why, I don't know what I did to him, but I, I couldn't get away from the man. This is super duper cool. I love this photo as well. You can see what they did on the back there. What can Brandon Brown do for you? Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Well done. Oh, what? what is going on here? Whoa, Josh Williams, what's the story behind this one? Because this, Looks like a demolition derby car. It looks like they actually spray painted, I mean, I know they didn't, but it's stylized to look this way. They spray painted the 92 on the roof and on the door. Oh, this is cool. So what's the story here? Oh, I see. This is a tribute to Rusty Cruz. He was the crew member, I believe, who passed away after breaking up a fight earlier this year at New Smyrna Speedway. I don't remember the full story behind if they ever figured out what the cause of death was, but it was very tragic. Of course, uh, I remember everyone in the racing world was talking about it uh, you know, a couple months back after it happened. So this is a pretty cool tribute, absolutely. And a memorable paint scheme. I mean, the theming here is great. Very nicely done, Josh Williams and team. Great cause, great tribute, great looking car. Oh, oh geez, the Rusty Wallace throwback. Timmy Hill, Timmy Hill's rocking the, uh, the, the, the Kenny Irwin throwback for the truck race. He's turning right around and dropping a Rusty Wallace bomb, a fiery explosion on us right here. Super accurate, the number on the door is exactly right, the colors are exactly right, the scheme, the style looks Fantastic, what a winner. It's a Bush Series car too that he's even thrown back to, so it matches the Xfinity Series. This is great on all fronts. Gosh, so many winners this year. Y'all have to be agreeing with me at this point. The Cup Series field better not let me down because trucks and Xfinity are on fire right now, almost literally. Ooh, a Mike Skinner throwback. Again, the door number matches. Look, everything matches. This looks so cool. This is a kind of a, a, a memorable one for sure. A Mike Skinner throwback from 1991. Anytime the sponsor back in the day was you know a paint company, you had to do something colorful with it. I'm glad they're able to kind of uh, bring all those colors back here in the modern day. Stay true to the original here. This looks good. Harrison Burton throwing it back to eh, this one. This one's kind of weak just because the colors don't even match, but this is a throwback to uh, Jeff Burton, Harrison Burton's father. Uh, he ran that Holiday Inn car. So imagine instead of red, imagine green. At least Dex Imaging changed the, the font, changed their logo a little bit to kind of match the Holiday Inn throwback look. But uh, you yeah, know, the colors color doesn't quite match, so this one's okay, that's fine. Oh my gosh, Xfinity Series going out with a bang. The Tony Stewart, this was his rookie paint scheme, I believe. Yes, 1999 rookie scheme, Home Depot colors, but not, of course, Home Depot actually on the hood. The number font, is, this looks so good. Throwing it back to the boss, man. Gotta get that uh, those brownie points in there. <laughs> ooh, ooh, the only knock against this scheme, I, the only small knock I can see is the Monster Energy, the deck lid is all black with the Monster Energy logo. It's ruining the immersion. Just ruining it. it took me completely out of the experience. <sighs> I know, I'm kidding. This looks really, really good. We've seen some pretty great Tony Stewart throwbacks in the past, but this one directly tied into his rookie paint scheme, his first year in the NASCAR Cup Series. This looks really, really good. Man, Truck Series on fire, Xfinity Series on point as well. Let's hope the cup cars don't let us down. All right, first off, let's start with some Hendrick cars. Kyle Larson, this one's interesting. This is a throwback to his first race car, I believe. I believe it was a go-kart. I think I saw a photo somewhere. So, you know, obviously the, the car that he's throwing it back to didn't look anything like a NASCAR Cup Series car, but they got the colors, the red and the blue, and I guess the yellow as well does match. So that's pretty cool. Big uh, Kyle Larson fans, I'm sure, will appreciate this. I'm not sure anyone else will really care, but it looks okay. It's 
it looks old school with the colors, you know, not really matching. You know, it's got that kind of style to it. Not bad. Not my favorite, though. All right, of course, we've seen this one. Chase Elliott throwing it back to Alan Kulwicki. We've seen Alan Kulwicki throwbacks before. Greg Biffle did one just a few years ago, I believe, with Hooters on, on the hood. But this one is pretty dang special. Of course, this is honoring Alan Kulwicki's 1992 championship scheme specifically. I do appreciate, unlike Biffle a few years back, Chase Elliott and Hendrick here did change the number font to kind of match. I mean, it was the number seven for Kulwicki, so not quite the same, but it more matches. It's more with the theme in this case. I like this one. This one's really good. Another Hendrick run. Remember, Vaveline is joining William Byron for a couple races this year, and they're doing a fantastic Neil Bonnet throwback. Again, they changed the number font. You know, I love a good Jeff Gordon flame scheme or rainbow. We actually haven't really seen any flame scheme throwbacks, but we've seen the rainbow a ton. I love a good Jeff Gordon throwback, but... Yeah, I also appreciate when the 24 team's able to throw back to somebody else. And in this case, Vaveline, who was Neil Bonnet's sponsor, I'm sure wanted to do something with that this year. So it's cool that they got the exact colors, the exact logos, and even the font somewhat accurate to what Neil Bonnet used to run. This one's pretty freaking cool. Well done, team. Subverting our expectations. We all expect a Jeff Gordon throwback, or you know, the one year they did like the Days of Thunder throwback. Way to way to throw us for a loop here. Keep us on our toes. Oh right, oh, this one's this one's interesting. I mean, this is a, a throwback to Alex Bowman's crew chief, Greg Ives. It was his first, uh, or not if it was first, but it was one of his late model paint schemes back in the day. Goodness me, this will be easy to spot on track for sure. I kind of like that sort of teal, kind of aqua oceany blue, sort of greenish blue. I kind of like that color and the hot pink on the side is, is is a nice touch. I mean, I like it. It's also neat for the drivers to sort of pay tribute to their crew chiefs as well. I'm sure Greg Ives really likes this one. It's simple, but it's different, but it'll pop. It'll be recognizable on track. So not bad at all. I like this one too. Decent job, Hendrick Motorsports. Now this one's not really a throwback, but I wanted to put this one in here because I thought it looked really, really cool. Cole Custer is running a specific Mother's Day scheme. You know, it is Mother's Day this Sunday as well. It's the throwback weekend. It's Darlington. It is Mother's Day. So pretty cool to see some drivers taking note of that. This is a tribute to Margaret Haas. You can see her face is even on the car. There's like a note to her as well on the deck lid. Uh, this thing looks beautiful. I mean, it's very floral. When I think race cars, I don't really think, you know, red roses and flowers all over it, but somehow it pulls it off and still keeps that sleek silver and kind of menacing snarl that the, the current Gen 6 Mustangs kind of have to them. It's pretty cool. Again, not really a throwback, not a throwback at all, but a nice tribute to Mother's Day, of course. This this looks good. I wanted to give it some respect on the ep on this episode today. And while we're at it, actually, Justin Haley's running. You know, he's combining the throwback element with the Happy Mother's Day as well. You see Mother's Day on the hood. This is a Robert Presley throwback as well. It's looks pretty. I like the, the yellow and orange stripes, the streaks, and the purple. I mean, this looks really good. And they changed the number font to even match the number. That's the number 70. It looks exactly right, exactly as it should. So uh, credit to uh, Spire. This looks good. Covering all their bases there. Live Fast with a uh, Joel, Joe Weatherly. Uh, this is a paint scheme going back to his final NASCAR win. Looks really good. The 78 looks great. It, I mean, it's a simple scheme, but you know, most schemes back in the day were pretty simple. It looks true to real life. I like it. Not a whole lot else to say, but it's pretty solid. Oh gosh, there's a lot going on here. Okay, this is Eric Almarola throwing it back to that flaming, that was a Mark Martin Bush Series car, Win dixie car, but now, oh wait, they still have Win dixie on it. No, there's Smithfield on the hood, but there's Win dixie on the side. Whoa, they got the original sponsor back. Okay, this one just jumped up another point or two in my books. Also just the red and yellow flames. This thing, this thing's chaotic. This this thing is hot. This thing is crazy. I'm trying to think of every flaming pun I can possibly think of, but I'm running out of them pretty quick. This thing has got me at a loss for words. There's a lot going on here, but I respect it. I love me a good Mark Martin throwback, especially one that's kind of off the beaten trail. We saw that, you know, Vaveline throwback earlier, which is what you think of when you think of Mark Martin. Not everyone thinks of this Bush series, you know, Win Dixie, you know, light him up fire car. But here we are winning and grilling. I like how it says that there as well. This looks really good. Well done. My gosh, even the Cup Series is doing pretty well. Ross Chastain, ooh, throwing it back to a Hutch Strickland McDonald's car from 1993. Very simple, but very stylish. It's true to the original. I'll give them that. This photo they're using of the 27 car, that looks like a, it looks fake. It looks like a die cast. Like, look at the window net. I think that's a die cast car they used for that photo. I think either way, it's still, it, this looks pretty good. I mean, 
they have a lot to work with with McDonald's. One of these years, I'd like to see one of those crazy late 90s Bill Elliott style throwbacks. We've seen the Mac Tonight car, I guess on Jamie McMurray some number of years ago. Those look great. The point is they have a lot to work with when it comes to McDonald's and their history in NASCAR. This one's simple. They're keeping it very simple, but it looks it looks good. Sometimes simple is, is a good thing. In fact, oftentimes simple can be better. And I think in the case of McDonald's, when you have such a recognizable logo as is, sometimes keeping it simple is the smart way to go. I like it. I, I like it. Not bad. Ooh, Camping World. This is a throwback, I believe. Yes, this is a throwback to just Camping World's original logo. This is their 55th anniversary. I mean, they've done a lot for the sport, especially this year that, hey, if they want to throw back to their old logo, it looks cool. I like that the 99 on the side looks different. I like that they threw in that green and red kind of to the design there. I assume for Daniel Suarez, that kind of matches the, the Mexican flag. I like how they naturally were really able to incorporate that into the design. Um, this one looks great. Not a conventional throwback by any means, but it still looks really, really good. So I'll give them that. If you're not going to throw back to an actual paint scheme, whatever your throwback scheme should look like should look good. And this actually looks really, really good. I kind of want this to be their normal camping world scheme. <laughs> Ooh, Bill Elliott, uh, Coors throwback scheme as well. This is a throwback specifically to his Daytona 500 winning scheme. Credit to Freight Auctions, man, going full cursive to try and match the uh, old Coors logo. This looks... Wow, this looks good. I didn't see this one before. That red is recognizable from a mile away. The gold and white trim. This one's great. Honestly, yeah, I I like this one. Well done. I'm kind of running out of things to say about all these cars. Uh, Denny Hamlin throwing it back to Slick Johnson. Julia Slick Johnson. I love this image. Whoever photoshopped this or worked on this graphic, I like it a lot. Sport Clips is often the sponsor for the throwback weekend, so that allows Hamlin and company to kind of work on some interesting red and white uh, colors. I like how on the 18, that seamless machine is kind of at an angle, that logo is at an angle, and the Sport Clips logo on the current car is also at an angle to match. That's a nice touch. I appreciate those details. Ooh, man, Starcom always got some really nice photos. Check this out, throwback to John Andretti. Oh, and they even got the RCA logo on it as well. That's that's really cool. Even got some cute little dogs on the quarter panel. Who doesn't love that? Bringing the underglow back, I see. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> wow, this looks great. They even got the numbers tilted for it exactly right. Well done, Starcom. Really well done with this one. John Andretti times two. Of course, Richard Petty Motorsports. STP is back on the hood. Looks fantastic. This is a throwback to John Andretti's 1999 Martinsville win. A great tribute. This looks really nice as well. The orange looks good. Kind of like McDonald's or like the 24. You know, every year you got a lot of pretty cool options to play with for throwbacks. The same goes for Richard Petty Motorsports, especially if they're able to get the, the STP red and blue colors involved. This looks really nice. Like I said, a great tribute to John Andretti. Good to see him well represented this weekend on the Cup Series side. Ooh, Ryan Blaney throwing it back to, this is his original or one of his old late model cars. He raced, I believe, back in 2010. Paint scheme is very accurate, really cool. And Advanced Auto Parts is very heavily involved in the NASCAR, you know, grassroots movement. And they're using this to promote their Advance My Track challenge as well. So a nice sponsor tie-in to the meaning behind the throwback scheme as well. Trying to raise awareness for local short tracks and things like that and help get them some support and get fans to turn out and support their favorite local racers. I like all the messaging behind this one and it's pretty cool. You know, I don't always love when especially young drivers throw back to themselves. You know, I think sometimes that's a little weird, but in this case, it matches the sponsor and their whole mission and everything really, really well. So I like it. I respect it. Oh, this one's getting crazy. Ryan Priest got Velveeta on the car. Oh, this is also a throwback to his crew chief. This was Trent Owens's truck that he drove in the truck series in 2002. You got a photo of it right there. Oh, I like this. Whoa. Hold on, if you look closely, the Trent Owens truck had flames, but the Velveeta car sort of has like that cheese splatter. You know, usually I dock points for, you know, historical inaccuracy here, but in this case, when the sponsor is Velveeta and it's cheese, I kind of like it that they still are able to pay homage and still clearly represent the throwback scheme they're going for, but also able to throw in kind of their own modern sponsor elements into it. I kind of respect the creativity there actually, so I'm not gonna dock them points for this one. This looks good. I, I like it. Another cool tribute to the crew chief. That's neat. A lot of crew chiefs getting some love. Larry McReynolds as well. Oh, no. Oh, not this one. Oh, gosh. I, I've forgotten about this. We've been on such a good roll. Such a good roll. Every scheme almost to this point has been an absolute winner. This might be our first dud. This <laughs> and let me make this clear. This isn't actually a bad paint scheme. You know, it's got Kroger, this is the best image I got, but it's Kroger on the front, so it's blue with the Kroger logo, and then on the back half, it's the orange and yellow tide colors. Like, 
you know, they're trying to do a lot with all these colors, but if this was just a normal scheme that rolled up one weekend, I'd be like, hey, it looks kind of cool. I like all the big bright colors. But you can't try to pass this off as a throwback scheme, as they're doing. Look, they even put an image of the car they're throwing it back to right there, just so you can see clearly for yourself how inaccurate their new rendering is. So they're saying this is a Ricky Craven homage. It's not, oh my gosh, where do I even begin? I mean, on the current car, it's all sort of a gradient, whereas on the original, the stripes were more like clearly defined. The order is even wrong. I mean, I mean, the Tide logo is even in the wrong place. Like, there's nothing about this that actually screams Ricky Craven, unless you just associate the sponsor Tide with Ricky Craven, which I guess many people do, but we've seen actual Ricky Craven, and, you know, throwback, Tide throwback schemes at Darlington in the past that did it well, that did it correctly. So to try and pretend that you're getting involved in the throwback weekend with this monstrosity, it's a joke. It's a joke. I, unfortunately, I saw the JTG Doherty got pretty ratioed hard on Twitter when they announced this one. And, you know, you hate to see it, but at the same time, you kind of understand it. <laughs> Again, I don't hate this paint scheme, although I must say, with all the talk these days about sliding the door numbers back to make more room for sponsors, what the hell are you doing here, JTG? There is so much empty space on the door here. Like, there's, there's nothing. There's so much space not being utilized. Like the team's got to do a better job of utilizing the space. If 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 NASCAR is expected to change things to help the teams, the team's got to chip in some themselves. This looks. They're not using the space well at all here. It's a mess. Easily the first dud on this list. It took us, you know, until I don't know how many minutes we are into the video. I've been recording, according to my camera, for over an hour now. So uh, <laughs> we've made it pretty far into this video before we got a true dud. But here we are. Let's keep going. Let's 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 bounce back. Oh no, no, two in a row. Whoa, what's happening? The steam is 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 draining quickly here. This is an M&M's 80 year anniversary paint scheme. I mean, again, if the sponsor's paying the bills, I guess they got to do. You got to do what they want to do, but. I mean, this doesn't look hardly any different than his normal M&M scheme, except the door number is brown instead of white. Woohoo. <laughs> I mean, looks fine. It's barely a throwback. No, no, come on. Oh, Joe Gibbs Racing, really interesting with some of their throwbacks this year. JGR has probably been the one team so far that seems to be missing more than they've hit, in my opinion. This one... They say this is sort of an homage to the old Furniture Row days. You know, it's a matte black, at least that's what they say. It's going to be a matte black plain paint scheme for the most part. But, you know, the big circular auto trader, auto owner's logo, whatever it is, on, on the hood doesn't really work. Plus the big blue numbers on the side. I mean, it, it looks kind of cool. I actually like the look of this paint scheme. But it, when I see this, I do not think Furniture Row. So to try and say this is a Furniture Row inspired throwback is kind of weak in my opinion, but you know, I'll wait until we actually see the real car. This is just a rendering, so we'll see. Here we go, front row back in action. Oh, this is another Alan Kowicki throwback, Hardee's. Man, Alan Kowicki had some fun sponsors, Hooters, Hardee's. That's some good stuff right there. This is a good looking paint scheme as well. I love the just we care on the hood. I don't. Is that their, like, is that freight auction or somebody, is that like their thing? I don't know, I like it. But this is a throwback to Kowicki's 1985 car. I like this a lot. This looks really, really cool. A classic paint scheme, great colors, and wow, well done, very accurate. Oh, keeping things with fast food. The Burger King, well, no, it's it's Insurance King. Oh, but they got the logo exactly right. Whoa, whoa, this one snuck up on me. Josh Balicki and friends, this is great. Oh, I love the details on this thing. Look look, look at the, the car in the background there on the quarter panel. It says Best Darn Burgers, I think. And then look at the, the Balicki car, it says Best Darn Rates. Ah, that's some good theme. Oh wait, look, look at the look at the contingency panel. I didn't even see this. They're all insurance king related. Look, IK, I see them, they just say king, but they gotta Whoa! That's funny. That's good. Well done. This is first off, this is a Lenny Pond throwback to his old Burger King car. But wow, credit to Insurance King or whoever's doing the design work, everyone who's working over there at uh, at Rick Ware Racing on this one. This looks Great, and I love the finer details on it. Not everyone's gonna appreciate the fine details like the contingency panel, but I do. I love it. Well done. All right, that's, that got the momentum back. We're going good. Okay, all right, Joey Logano. This is one of the first throwbacks that were announced, I remember. Uh, throwback to Mario Andretti's first Formula One victory. I mean, that's pretty cool. Mario Andretti's a legend. A little weird to be throwing it back to a Formula One car and, you know, a guy who has had most of his success in open wheel. A little weird for a NASCAR team to be throwing it back to, to them, but uh, I'm sure Ford, I'm sure Shell, I'm sure they all wanted something to do with it. And the paint scheme looks cool. It, it looks retro. It looks old school. I like the, the white outlines of all the logos. is kind of interesting. It looks like they're just like stuck on there. It's a weird looking scheme, but it fits the throwback theme. So I do like this one pretty well. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite that Pennzoil and Joey Logano have done in recent years either, but it's not bad. It's, it's decent. Oh boy, more SHR stuff. This is, oh, this is cool. This is Chase Briscoe throwing it back to AJ Foyt. Oh, is that helmet real? Is he actually going to run that CB helmet? 
Because if so, that's really cool. That's neat. Simple looking paint scheme, but very accurate to the original. And I also love that they are both the number 14. They even got the font to match exactly right. This looks really, really good. Love me some AJ Foyt, racing legend. Well represented with this paint scheme. Nicely done. Oh, this is pretty neat. I had to do some research for this one. James Davison is throwing it back to Dick Johnson's 1989 and 1990 NASCAR scheme. Dick Johnson is also Australian. Of course, James Davison is Australian as well. So pretty cool tie in there. And this paint scheme looks really good. I I love how big the 15 is. It just looks, doesn't it look just wide to y'all? And they got writing all over this thing. They got the sponsor logos on the on, on the freaking side skirt almost. That's pretty cool. Don't compare this with the with the 47 car. This is how you maximize your door space for sponsorship. Look at all these logos and stuff. That's awesome. This is the highest quality image I could find, unfortunately. This is Ryan Newman throwing it back to apparently sponsor Kohler Generators was the sponsor of a 1976 SCCA National Championship team. And this is kind of what that car looked like way back in the day. So they're bringing it back for Ryan Newman. I mean, again, like we've been saying, sponsor pays the bills. They want to do what they want to do. I do like that this is a throwback to an actual race car, though. It's not just a, a new logo or something. So it's pretty neat, simple. I wish we had a higher res image, but it looks solid. I like it. I believe we've made it to the last one. Here we go. Oh yes, of course, how could we forget? Announced just this morning, as a matter of fact, Daryl Wallace Jr., Bubba Wallace in 2311 will be throwing it back to Wendell Scott. You got the classic Wendell Scott kind of blue and orange colors here. Root Insurance is on the car. I gotta say, this rendering they use looks kind of whack. Look at the front end. That doesn't... It looks like NASCAR Heat Evolution, I was just saying. <laughs> but aside from that, as I'm focusing on the paint scheme, I love you got the Wendell Scott tribute there on the contingency panel. Looks really, really great. I, you know, the number font, I wish they could have maybe adjusted the number font to match, but you know, I'm getting nitpicky at this point. Looks really, really cool. I love the bright baby blue, synonymous with Wendell Scott. Scott, of course, won a NASCAR Cup Series race back in the 1960s. Bubba Wallace has thrown back to Wendell Scott before. I believe the last time he threw back to Wendell Scott was in the Truck Series some number of years ago, and he won that race at Martinsville. So, hey, he's one for one in Wendell Scott tribute schemes in the past. Can he make it two for two? I think he's going to have his work cut out for him at Darlington for sure, but either way, we know this paint scheme is going to look really, really good. Also, I do like, and I just noticed these details, but McDonald's has the old McDonald's racing logo and Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper there on the on the side skirt almost, that's a pretty awesome throwback logo as well. This looks great. Really solid paint scheme to end it on. I apologize if I did not show your favorite driver's paint scheme. There's just a good chance they have not revealed it yet. I'm filming this Tuesday afternoon. You know what they say, the early bird gets the worm. If you want to see your paint scheme on Out of the Groove next year, you got to reveal it earlier in the week. We got most of them though. We got the vast majority of the Truck Expandy and Cup Series fields covered today. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite paint scheme or throwback paint scheme is. Man, it's tough for me to narrow it down. Uh, the Gatorade scheme that Michael Annette is running, the Dirt Walter Threat, that's that's up there. Honestly, that Burger King scheme, just because of the details, and actually this, the Wendell Scott scheme as well, because of some of those finer details. I really like those as well. They deserve an honorable mention. UPS cars are really great. I think, I, I, honestly, I might give Brandon Brown the edge just because of the line on the on the back of the car there, on the back bumper. <laughs> the other JRM cars, can't forget, but the Tasmanian Devil car, that one was good. Now, there's a lot of winners. What about the trucks? You know, I did like the Michael Waltrip Napa throwback. The Talladega Knights one was pretty good as well. Well, or Darnell, Johnny Betts, there's some pretty good ones in trucks as well, but those are just some of my favorites that I'm rattling off off the top of my head. Let me know down below which of these throwbacks is your favorite. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. We talk NASCAR every single day here at Out of the Groove. As always, a huge thank you to my amazing Patreon supporters as well. I could not do this show without your tremendous support. We will be back later this week. In fact, tomorrow afternoon, we'll be streaming live here our reactions to the next gen reveal. NASCAR is gonna reveal the Ford, Chevy, and Toyota next gen cars tomorrow. We'll be here live to react to what we see. More videos coming later this week as well. Plenty of things to talk about before Darlington, the triple header this weekend. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out. See you soon.